through, like Noku, and I believe C comes through sometimes. Um, but anyways, we're going to be seeing Venia versus SPT. Yeah, and I'm glad that Venia is not playing Fox, because he said some nonsense like he was going to play Fox, and I'm glad he didn't do that, because his Fox is terrible. But um, we got the real Fox player, that is SPT, yes, and we sir. got Venia, who was playing oh my God. Smash 4 Fox, that is Greninja. So right now, SPT already got like a 0-65 to 65 within like the first th a few seconds, and Venia was trying to get like a preemptive up smash, but SPT was really, really smart to commit to the air dodge. Um, both of these characters are just going to like take turns molly whopping each other, yes. and then either Fox is going to land a nail at 80%, or Venia is going to land a down tilt or a dash attack at whatever percent. Yeah. And I feel like in, in this matchup, um, Greninja does have the advantage when it comes to the off stage, but on in on stage, I feel like mm -hmm. Fox has the advantage on the ledge trapping end, and this mm -hmm. is the off stage end. Ooh, but SBT is still living. Fox has an amazing vertical oh, wow. recovery, and that hitbox still lasting all the way to get Fanny though. Um, so right now, SBT is going to be either looking for a back here, perhaps an upper to send him upwards. I really like the stall off stage just to mix up Venia's timing on the upbeat because I believe the windbox could have actually done a number on John. Yeah, um, yeah. The thing, the thing about the windbox, right? Especially when you delay it, um, there are definitely times where the windbox actually benefits the person who's getting hit by it. But with that being said, SP is getting the benefit of that backer on Venia's face. And that's going to be the down tilt forward. Air. Did SPT kill with strong neutral air? No, that was back air. That was, oh, that was oh, back he, air. He kicks it. <laughs> no, I was about to say that was like some wolf stuff. I, I was a little confused. Fun. But. Yeah, I mean, both of them are just like scrapping, taking turns, like really, really mixing each other. I like the high recovery, making sure that he's not going to get knocked up by the wind box. Yeah, because Fox, you know, Fox is, is really strong on the ground and really strong um, on stage. So. Uh, Venya opting to go high and not wanting to be at the ledge against Fox because that is one of the danger zones against Fox being at the ledge. When, ooh, Venya going wow. super, super deep to get the edge guard, but I believe SPT still saved his jump. Yeah, he died. Is what I would say. He was he was in the bubble, man. He went all the way down to the bubble. Yep. And it looked like that was a weak hit of back air, too. Like, he kind of almost let me spike it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Those bears? SPT is getting a punch of good damage, but that angle on the counter is nasty, just like propelling him off stage and immediately giving Benny a stage control. Yeah, and SPT opting to go high and not opting to take the low mix and actually got back on stage and neutral got a punch. I love that double jump play, and again, like he was like really, really waiting out. Um, so, so that's the second time on stream that he's gotten uh, Fox Illusion confirmed. First is up here, now it's back here. Yep. And, and uh, I believe like some of the earlier hits of Illusion can um, confirm it to up air if it doesn't like go through the river to serial rush back air. Oh yeah, that's why he's going actually going for his tech tases with um, Fox Illusion because those are actually real setups. Like, it's not it's not a reach or anything. Oh my god, he almost died. He's what? Is he gonna die? Nah. Okay, can we talk about the quick ninety percent? Already like brought it back to a completely even game, and I would like ah he was looking for that up air. Yeah. But it was a little bit too close to him when he initiated the side B. Uh, right now, he's looking for those falling neutral airs. Venya's going to see him jump a little bit more, maybe perhaps play a little bit out of shield. Because last thing... Oh! Oh, and SP didn't trust it. He did not trust that read. Because um, right now, you know, at this percent, he's going to get a knockdown and either get an smash or look for a read. Oh my god, almost dying to Florida across the stage like that. That delay coming out from SPT. Really, really smart just to like dip onto the stage, avoid any potential hitboxes, but he's gonna run right into a forward air. Yeah, right into a forward air, man. Um, you know, clutch, you know, uh, Venia clutched it, but SPT almost had that, mm -hmm. had that game, man. Like one read. Uh, and maybe. maybe so thank you to maybe Duende. There you go. We out here. Let's go. Ooh. Maybe Duende. Maybe Duende for the two month sub. Um, much appreciated. Thank you for sticking put, put, with us. Put, yo, put your H or 3K mixes in chat right now. Dude. Yes, sir. Uh, gonna run it back to PS2. I think if SBT didn't lose his stock so early on the second stock to that like really, really nice deep edge guard from Venia, yeah. um, he can mix up his recovery a little bit more. We could see like an even closer game. Uh, our multi jab is doing so much for SBT right now. You know, and honestly, that's kind of where the game is won for uh, both characters. Like, if SPT can keep him, keep him on stage as much as possible, his chances of winning are going to skyrocket. But if it's going to be like this, Venya... It's going to be pretty much in Venya's favor. 
Yep. I knew I had the right idea with the Shadow Snake face, but unfortunately he was a little bit misplaced, a little bit too close to the edge. The SVT was trying to set up for that side, begin to up air, or yep. to a back air, but um, a little bit too hasty with his timing for it. Ooh, and Benny is lucky that he actually stood off in that situation because SP is looking for a reset to up smash. No, SPT is mad nice. Oh, yeah, no. Ah. Uh, I don't know if that wasn't the window or maybe just a little slow, but either way. Wow, the neutral are trading with the spike hit of down and Gunnar just spiked down and it's not something you see quite often. That is going to be the confirmation to for later. Benny's at 111%. This could be a back here. This could be one more up here. Yeah, and you know what? When Benny does those down airs, it's like slightly annoying because it's just like you're just waiting for his character to land and then he just does some nonsense. Yep. And you know what? Forget the nonsense. Fox is hit, hit, hit with his feet. Fell out of that up smash. Plus. Dude. What happened? I looked away for a second. Where did SBT stock go? Shadow Sneak. You got Shadow Sneak. That move kills you at like 30 off stage. I mean, like, bro. I don't know. Honestly, like, that that's life of a spacey, right? Like, yes, SBT yep. messed up, but it's like, man. Sometimes when you're off stage in space, you don't have a lot of options. Oh, okay. Mm. Let's see if SBT can, like, Try to bring it back a little bit. Going high. Well, Venya positioned himself perfectly just to react to anything that SBT could have done. I respect it. I really like the beefy up there. Be the, it's definitely something Yo. Venya did not expect. Okay, yeah, and SBT for. Mm, yep. I was just about to say, he was actually forced to get hit with a forwarder coming down, and they just get hit with a forwarder again. So. Yeah, that was a pretty convincing 2 off from Venya, I think. Um, Venya. Like, SPT definitely had a good idea, but when you're a spacey and you're offstage against Goo Ninja with a move that literally kills you at, like, 30%, mm -hmm. like, and you have, like, an ultra-linear recovery, like... What are you gonna do? You, you gotta hold that sometimes. Yeah, 